All right, cadets, welcome back for MS200 video lecture series. This is Dr. Cook. We're going to be talking about planning by warfighting function. All right, probably our most important warfighting function, <laughs> mission command. All right, from a leadership perspective, we should look at it that way. The mission command is all about giving freedom of action to our subordinates all right, so that they can accomplish the mission. And really the biggest takeaway you got to remember as a leader in the Army is Give, give your subordinates a mission of what you want them to accomplish. What is the end state? Do not tell them how to do it or how to achieve it. Let them decide how to do that with the resources they have. All right, and then go back and enable them by finding out, hey, are there additional resources or the things that you need that I can do to support you in achieving the mission I've given you? All right, so that's really the biggest thing. Um, about mission command, right? Empower those subordinate leaders, share as much information as possible, and decentralize your execution down to the lowest level. All right, movement and maneuver, all right? Make sure we're looking at our principles of the offense um, and that we're making the choice about our time and place of attack, all right? And we have surprise on the enemy. We maintain our op tempo. All right, make sure that we plan for the types of things that are included here, right? When are we gonna deploy? What kind of formations are we gonna use? When are we in movement? When are we in maneuver? All right, how are we gonna control that? How are we gonna use our direct fires? Remember, direct fires is part of the movement and maneuver warfighting function, all right? Um, and then along with our mobility and counter mobility assets that we can bring to bear on that, all right? Intelligence warfighting function. Right, make sure we have plans to make as much use of intelligence assets as we have, especially in this modern era. We have lots of sensor systems we can put out there. We're pushing tactical UAVs down to lower and lower levels all the time. We have great ability to push information around. But remember, intelligence isn't just having the information. It's being able to make understanding out of it. All right. So taking that information and trying to turn it into understanding about the enemy and about ourselves and how we can work together with that. All right. Okay. Fires. All right. Fires can do you a lot of good on the battlefield. So make use of them whenever they are available to you. All right. Now, part of that is having a good plan. It will go a lot faster if you have pre-planned your fire targets and coordinated them with your fire uh, support unit, whoever that's coming from, because uh, then you can just get on the radio and request a certain target. They've already got that all planned out and, and in a good place versus something happening on the battlefield and you're trying to get out the GTA and make sure you do your call for fire mission just right and you're trying to bracket the enemy and all this other stuff to make it happen on the radio in real time. You have the ability to plan. Do it. All right. So how do we use that uh, to be there when we need it? we got to anticipate where the enemy might make contact with us that we might want to use fires along our route throughout our mission, not just on the objective, right? We might need fires to get us out of a bad situation during uh, the movement phase, let's say, all right? How can we use it to enable our movement, to obscure where we're going with smoke, for say, or to fix an enemy where uh, they can't interfere with us, uh, destroy the enemy force on the objective and prep that objective so that we don't have as many enemy to deal with face to face, all right? or support afterwards, right? So we've just taken a hilltop and we're preparing for a counterattack. Do we already have targets plans that when reinforcements try to come in uh, to interf either interfere with our mission during our actions on the objective or afterwards trying to knock us back off the piece of terrain we just took, we've already got some fires targets that can deal with that. All right, sustainment function is really important. It's going to be really important to your soldiers. They're going to want to know When's the next time they're going to get their mail, their chow, and have the ability to take a shower? All right, that's what they're going to care about. Um, so make sure you're anticipating those kind of things and you have a plan for it. All right, uh, if you go through an entire mission, you carried what you needed, now you're done with the mission, how are you going to get resupplied? All right, if you're out there with vehicles on the battlefield, those things are going to need to get resupplied with fuel, just like your soldiers need food and water your uh, vehicle systems are gonna need fuel uh, to keep them going. And how are you gonna get that there and have it where you need it? Because you know you're gonna need it at the end of the battle so you can prepare for the next fight. All right, how can we make all that happen? Think through those things. All right, the protection function. All right, now if we're on and off the offense and we are attacking a defending enemy, um, you know, 
this is a war fighting function that isn't quite as clear as when we're in the defense and we want to get sandbags, we want concertina wire, we need uh, to get heavy equipment in there to help us dig foxholes. Those kind of things are, are pretty clear cut. But when we're the ones attacking, we have to think through how can we use our protection assets uh, to protect our troops, to deny the enemy uh, the ability to use some route to come in uh, to get us. Um, you know, how do we have some high mobile forces that can help out with security, setting screen lines? How do we use the train? Um, how do we help isolate the enemy, right? We can use some of our protection assets to do those kind of things um, all along the way. All right, so it's kind of a quick walkthrough of the warfighting functions and how you can think about them during your planning. Um, but just using the concept of warfighting functions uh, can help guide you into your thinking that you don't get caught up in one thing and, and ignore others. So make sure you cover all six of them and think through it. All right, have a great day.